Hello everyone, this is Barry Fear with you. It's Tuesday, February 12th. I hope that you've had a good night and a healthy breakfast. And I'm ready to share your Tuesday, or should I say, I hope that you're ready to spend your Tuesday with us here at same time. Well, today on the show, we're going to be talking about relationships again and arguments and recapping on arguments. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. And it's good morning to my offside. Good morning. And thanks for joining me on this show today. So, today, like I'm just saying, we're going to be recapping on the friendships and arguments and relationships. Now, an argument can start anyway, even here at 10 Drives Cats. We, we often say things that we don't really mean to say, but it's a way of getting things off our chest we get angry because somebody has said something or done something that they shouldn't have. And here's my offsider for her view on this. Yes, it's um, important to choose your words wisely and um, think about the consequences. Think about if in, in an hour or two hours or a week, if you're still going to feel like you want to say those words, if you're not going to feel like you want to say those words in, in a week, then you shouldn't say them. So once they're out of your mouth and into the universe, they're out there forever. And don't try and take things back. It's like if you take something back to the shop without the receipt, you won't get your money back. That is a good analogy. Actions speak louder than words, so apologies are important, but you need to show your care and your love um, and your regret through your action. So, if you haven't got the receipt for the item that you haven't used, you won't get your cash back. Yeah. You've got it forever. Yeah. So, Friendships, they are great to have and the same with relationships. But, again, you mustn't let the relationships or friendships go whim, down there. They should be up there because it's like climbing a ladder, a ladder. It's a friendship. They start at the bottom of the ladder, on the ladder, on the ladder, and continue up. Yeah. And don't let the ladder fall down with you on it. Yeah. So, like, what does that mean? I guess friendships need constant support and nurturing. Yes. Yeah. So. It's no good setting up the ladder against the wall with broken run, runs. Exactly. Because if you try climbing them and the rungs break, the ladder will fall down with you and your friendships that you trying to start. So make sure the friendship and the relationship ladder uh, uh, secure and stable. Don't ruin them by having an argument then breaking the ladder in half. Once you ruin the friendship and relationships, you will have to think 
how you are going to man them, and how you are going to explain why the relationship and friendship with the person was ruined in the first place. So, please, the advice that my offsider and I would like to give to you today, please don't raise your voice. Please don't storm off in the middle of the conversation because it's like leaving a plate of untouched food or half the even plate of food. You can't waste conversations. Once you start the conversations, you've got to finish them and stick to what you are going to talk about as well. You just can't leave the plate of conversations half finished. Yeah. You've got to finish the conversations once you start them. And the conversation has to be relevant and don't change the subject because if someone has done something wrong to you or I or my offside here, get to the point, make a brief, and make sure that the incident doesn't occur again. Here's my offside. Communication is very important in any relationship. And yes, like you said, like you can't leave things unsaid and, and important conversations can't be left um, unresolved. And like, if you leave a plate of a conversation unfinished, that's like leaving a plate of unfinished business. Absolutely. Or unfinished food. So don't let the conversation that's on the plate go stale. Get it off the plate. Yeah. Don't keep it on the plate. It's the only way to move forward. And, and we want to keep moving forward, like what you said. We want to be... <laughs> and... If you've got something to say, get it off your chest rather than keeping it on because that's how we get sick if we don't let things out in the open. Absolutely. In my offside. Yeah, and any important um, friendship in your life can handle honesty. So... Let it off, and if you've got something you, you need to let off your chair, something you need to deal with, it's important that that happens for and, the sake of your friendship. And also, if you have a friendship and a relationship, tell the truth to the person and nothing but the truth. Because as we said last week about lying on the show, it doesn't, it can really hurt. Yeah. So, so please, tell the truth. It is better telling the truth than not telling the truth at all. Yeah. Because True. lying can also ruin the friendship and relationship with the person that you are with. And I'm sure that my offsider would agree on this. I, I think lies can be very toxic. And the thing is, like, people might get away with being dishonest for a little while, but lies always come out. And it's a lot more hurtful to everyone on the other end of a lie when the, the longer the time passes. Just so. get it out of the way. Be honest, be respectful. And this honesty, it should not happen. Yeah. Honesty is very important when you have a relationship or friendship 
with anybody, whether it's at your work place or your home, or even if you're out at a restaurant, if someone asks you a question about honesty, please be honest. Because it's important. You can't just hurt someone's feelings by lying to them and just thinking, oh yeah, I'll just lie to the person again and again because, hey, it doesn't work. Yeah. Now, we'd like to hear your views and comments on this video that we're putting together today. So you can comment on my channel. I'd like to hear about it. Yes, yeah. And again, if there's any um, topics that you would like discussed, please let us know and we will um, get on to creating that for you. We would like this channel to be a conversation. And, and we all know that sometimes we say things that we don't really mean to in a relationship, but you, and we said at the beginning of the show today, where does, the, where does the ruined friendship go? In the garbage bin. It's like a wasted relationship and the friendship. So please, guys, and girls out there, don't waste your friendship and relationship by arguing because it won't get us anyway. And speaking of relationships, it is Valentine's Day on Thursday. So now is not the time to argue with your sweetheart. Mm. Show them that you really care. And tell them that you love them. Just like my upsider would. Would you agree? Yeah. Look after each other, love each other, and let your loved ones know how much you care about them. And look after them. That's what we also said on the show last week. Mm. So, at the end of this video, we'd like, I'm going to say, you can comment on this, because we would really love to hear from you and tell us what you think. Coming up next on the show, it's all, it's time to go back to all-wheel drive and camping equipment. Mm. So stay tuned for that, that video. But right now, that's the end of the relationships and friendship and arguments video. Now let's go back to four-wheel drive and camping. Mm.